Alright guys, we're just going to get right into it. The gun you've all been waiting for. The Semi-Auto Marauder, or SAM. Hardcore stats. Semi-automatic. Rifled barrel. Weighs 8 pounds. Overall length of 43 inches. <laughs> 20 inch barrel length, low on the loudness scale. It's got a magazine capacity of 10. If you like this gun, you can buy a $40 hand pump on eBay and you'll be in business. Comes with a Weaver Picatinny rail, manual safety, you okay there, Bugaboo? Two-stage adjustable trigger, five-year limited warranty. It comes in 22 caliber only, so it has a velocity of 950 feet per second. We'll figure out the foot pounds. Here's a big thing. It's regulated. Now, the Marauder was the best-selling air gun in the world. They test shot my rifle for me. Then... A couple years ago, they came out with a regulated version of the Marauder called the Marauder Field Target. You could also get the Marauder Field Target with a Lothar Walther match barrel, and that was about 750 bucks. but that was pretty sweet. And now, we got a regulated semi-automatic. Got an ambidextrous charging handle, 206 bar fill, which works out to exactly 3,000 PSI fill pressure. Has a male quick disconnect foster fitting. So, no fill probe needed. Includes one magazine. I'm guessing it uses a Marauder style magazine. <laughs> Get it? Uh, Picatinny optics rails. Forward assist clears miss loads and jams. Wow. You guys know I'm a big AR 15 fan, so when I saw that charging handle, I automatically imagined an AR 15 stock around it. It says it comes with a hardwood stock with synthetic adjustable cheek piece. Made by Benjamin. Alright, here's the description. The Benjamin Marauder Semi-Auto with a wood stock brings you the classic looks and legendary accuracy of the Marauder, but upgraded with the rapid fire capability of a semi-auto action. Although this air gun looks and feels like the field target version it's built off of, don't be fooled. Most of the interior is improved and re-engineered, including the new version of the 10-shot magazine. If you're looking for a seriously stable shot string with a hammer spring screw that adjusts the power, you'll find it here. How fast does this air rifle shoot in semi-auto mode? As fast as your reflexes. A fast shooter can get about 300 rounds per minute cyclic rate, which is great for fast follow-up shots if you're hunting small game. You'll get about 50 to 60 shots at about 900 feet per second, around 22 foot-pounds of energy, with the factory power setting, or 30 to 40 shots at about 950 feet per second, which is over 28 foot-pounds of energy, at full power. The full barrel shroud makes this one of the quieter air guns in its class, and there's a Picatinny rail for adding optics. This air gun gives you High class features, distinguished looks, and quality workmanship without a high price tag. The semi-auto mode will help you shoot targets or small game with ease 
and accuracy. And it's a blast to shoot. If you're ready to take the Marauder shooting you know and love to the next level with semi-auto fire, upgrade to the Benjamin Marauder semi-auto with a wood stock today. All right, you guys, if you do decide to order this, you can grab it at Pyramid Air, eBay, or Amazon through the affiliate link in the description of this video. If you do, I'll make a small percentage. All you guys who have been buying through the affiliate links, thanks again. If you guys didn't know, you have to clean every new air gun because there's preservative gunk in the barrel. You always want to use a flexible cleaning rod like the Crown Saver. That's super dirty, guys. <laughs> Definitely need to get all that gunk out of there. A metal cleaning rod will damage the rifling on the end of your barrel, which will screw up your accuracy. In addition, if you shoot your air gun with all that junk in the barrel, that will also affect your accuracy. Last thing I gotta tell you is hops rots your air gun seals, so you wanna use Ballastol. Ballastol is safe for air gun seals. Some of you guys are wondering, this sells for $729. In stock now, pretty much everywhere. All right, you guys, it just started to rain, but I got everything a boy could need right here. We got a Halo Sun red dot sight with a camera so you guys can see all the action. And our target is down there at 24 yards. What do we got for wind, bugaboo? Three to five miles northwest. Awesome. Oh, guys, we got a visitor. I heard they came out with a semi-automatic Marauder. Is that true? Yeah, dude, I got one right here. Oh, that's sweet, dude. Yeah, hang out. You could watch. We're going to shoot it up. 24 yards. You actually have to load the magazine first. Now before I shoot this group, keep in mind that this is with a red dot sight. Since my sight was only one power, I could not even see what happened. Is that my hole next to the... Let me go look, hold on. Wow you guys, that was three bullets, one hole. Three bullets, two holes. Holy crap, you guys. Oh my gosh. 24 yards with a red dot? I fired those like as fast as I could. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm loving that. So I decided to take some targets out real fast at 24 yards with my red dot sight. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of the actual red dot scope cam that I had going on with my phone, so... Here's some 24 yard target shooting I did though with the red dot sight.
All right, you guys, I'm out here on a beautiful day with zero wind, 35 yards away. I tested every single JSB 22 caliber pellet and a few others with some surprising results. Here's one of the two pellets that I found that shoot great out of this gun. All right, you guys, I'm gonna see if I can do a one-shot sight in. I'm guessing that I will be able to. Here we go. This should be easy. Watch this. I'll put it through the same hole. Ooh. There we go. I'll smoke a bullseye real fast and then we'll do an official 18 grain group. All right, you guys, 10 shots down from a full tank. Here we go. I shouldn't have clicked over. All right, let me keep going. I'm gonna keep trying to click this up. So I'm gonna click back over. Going to left. And we're still left, so I'm gonna up again. Alright guys, I'm ready for EDR with my sitting on the rider. Here's a simulation. Oh, damn it. Alright. Well, that was me. Alright, we got it now, you guys. Watch this. I'm gonna get the rest of this bullseye. Oh! Alright, you guys, this is our third magazine. We're at exactly 2,500 bar. All right, magazine number three, here we go. What do you want in a semi-auto, you guys? That bullseye's gone. Grand JSBs. JSB Hades. Uh. Let's see how lucky the swan is going to be. He's safe as long as I'm using Hades pellets at 35 yards. Woo! Lucky boy. I don't sort my pellets, but I, I do drop them on the ground every once in a while. Instead, I have to pick them back up. So I don't sort away or clean or do nothing with my pellets. Except I do look at them and make sure the skirt's not horribly bent. So that's what I'm doing right now. All right, you guys, two shots down from a full tank with an airplane involved. Here we go. Fifteen grain and this gun do not like each other. Let's check out Lucky Swan again. Mr. Lucky Boy here. Oh, he only had to dodge one that time. Rally Sport Fast Flyers Jumbo RS. Holy crap. The 14.35 grain grouped okay, but still not that good. Here's the tail end of that group. I got a few left, so let's see. With a holdover, see, I'll, I'll guarantee you Mr. Swan ain't going to be lucky with this one. I got three bullets left. Here we go. Told you. Well, that was cool, though. And using holdover, I'm going to get a bullseye right now. In addition, I threw some 25 grains in there. They fit in the magazine, but they did end up jamming the gun. <laughs> okay. Never mind about that. So don't put 25 grains in there. 
I skipped the 33 grains. Now for the surprise of the day. All right, you guys, we're doing Crossman Premier Hollow Points, 14.3 grain. Now, I think these guys might deserve three magazines worth. Let's see where they hit. I like that. Wow. So they sight their self in, apparently, these pellets, and they shoot pretty good, too. All right, let me just click over a little bit. I think we're going to have a winner right here. My tin of, uh, you know, they were on sale. These are kind of expensive now, but my tin of $6 Walmart pellets are going to beat out 90% of the JSBs. In fact, I'm so happy about what's about to happen. Let me use a big bullseye. pretty freaking good okay two flyers but then the other five I put through a well that's our best group yet you guys wow oh I slipped on that one Now, you guys, you could have a lot of fun with $5 worth of pellets. Cross Moon Premier, 14.35 grain. Awesome. I want to get really sighted in, so I'm choosing 18.13 grain. And I'm just going to shoot a few mags here, see what I can do. Dime size group, 35 yards, 18 grain GSBs. Direct hit. What? How'd that guy pop back up? I made this target, it doesn't work too good. Three messing around. Mission complete. And All right, guys. I'm gonna go line the camera up, and we'll light that bell up big time. Not as easy as you think to hit a moving target like that.
perfect. This guy's next. Give this guy a center, center mass. Whoa, freaking smack that dude. Whoa, <laughs> that was awesome. Let's see if we can double tap these two. Oh, oh I was out of ammo. All right, double tap. <laughs> Didn't quite work out, but that one guy went for a ride. Fifty yards away on the dot. Smurfic. Okay, guys, no need for a wind flag because there's no wind right now. We are 50 yards away. Eighteen grain GSB, full tank. Let's see where we're hitting. Nice group at 50 yards, huh? No wind, baby. Should have about seven shots left. Let's see what we can do to the bullseye right here. Darn it. Okay, guys, I filled back up to 3,000 psi. We'll see if I can get a little better group. Definitely see where my hole is. There you guys, magazine number two, 18 grain JSBs. Darn it. All right, you guys, aim small, miss small. Here we go. You see that? I freaking nailed that bullseye. Whoops, that was so totally me. And again. All right, we're off the regulator, did you see that?
Now for the tricky one. Headshot. Oh man, and we got one left. Oh, you lucky bastard. All right, guys, we're gonna see if we can get a 50 yard double tap and we'll know when we do the damage assessment. Ooh. Darn, I think I hit it on the first one. Ooh. Darn, I think I hit it on the first one. Look at that. Look at that noise. 55 yards. Alright guys, I got my camera way too close, but I don't think we'll have a problem. Here we go. So I did the shot string twice on this gun, and both times it was just getting a ridiculous number of shots. So... The regulators get better and better as they break in on these crossmans. But as you can see here, got an excellent shot string. I'm just going to play the shot string as we finish out a few targets on this video. And you'll see, regulators definitely working. My scope cam was not recording. We're gonna do that one more time with the scope cam on. That's about 55 yards, maybe 58. Look at these cans, you guys. Did not stand a chance. Check out the uh, pellet hole right there. Oh, wow. Guys, look. Two sides of the pellet hole right there. <laughs> Split white in two. That's awesome. Okay, guys. I'm thinking we shoot one like this and see what happens with the splatter. Should be cool. Hopefully it hits it right in the middle. Okay, you guys, I'm out here on a calm day. I'm set up at 81 yards away from the target. Gonna do some long range shooting. So you guys, right back here, you see that hole right there? So there's an Allen key right inside that hole and you just turn it one direction and you'll be able to increase the FPS on this. That's what I really should do for this long range shooting, but I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm gonna leave it stock. But just so you guys know, at home, you can take your Marauder, turn it up, and you'll have better results shooting at long distances.
think I moved my shooting table back even farther. Now we are at 93 yards away from my backstop over there. All right, you guys, 93 yards. Alright you guys, final thoughts on the semi-auto marauder. I think Crossman did a great job. I know they put a lot of work into this gun. That was cool though, 100 yards. No problemo. You guys, this one right here, I saw it through my scope, 100 yards, it was taking rounds. Like five of them right through this hole right here. But it wasn't going anywhere. Tough bastard right there. Failed to detonate and this one didn't break. So I'll show you what these are supposed to do. I see it as a very reliable, smooth operating, awesome gun. I like the swivel studs, made in the USA, it's regulated. The pick rail, the charging handle. Charlie's Kaboom, target caps. went well. Charlie's Kaboom target caps. Gender reveal. I guess it's a girl. How you like that you guys? What a hundred pounds of pressure does to a bottle. The smooth operation and reliability, I'm sure this can be a super reliable gun. There's no ping, no vibration, it's a pleasure to shoot. Nice smooth trigger, I really like the beautiful dark wood stock. The fact that no fill probe is needed, you have your foster fitting right there. That's awesome too. And finally, the fact that it's adjustable power. I'm sure you're going to have guys tuning this up and down. And with a little tuning, it might be able to shoot some of those pellets super accurately. So, find the best speed for your pellet. That's awesome too. I just want to remind you guys again, when you remove the magazine, a pellet remains in the barrel, in the chamber. So, don't ever pull the trigger thinking that it's empty because it's probably not. Just another reason to practice good gun safety. Always have your gun pointed in a safe direction when you pull that trigger. Never mess around and always have your safety engaged when you're shooting this gun. It's right there by the trigger. There's no excuse to not have it engaged until you're ready to shoot. Oh, one last thing that I like about this gun. It operates on 3000 PSI or 200 bar. That means with your standard 4500 PSI scuba tank, you can fill this many, many times. And that's always makes for a good day of shooting. All right, you guys, that's it for me on this one. Thanks again for watching. I hope everybody's doing good out there. Stay safe, happy shooting, and we'll see you on the next one.